Okay, so the first step is to draw an angle that is bigger than zero degrees but less than 90 degrees. So this is bigger than zero degrees and less than a right angle which would probably be around there. So we know that this is bigger than zero and less than 90. Now what we do, <coughs> we need to take our protractor and this point of our protractor right in the centre needs to line up with the point where the two lines meet each other. So as long as that point is directly on, this is called the vertex where the two lines meet, then that's fine. Next, we need to align one of the lines of the angle with the line that goes all the way along the bottom of the protractor. So from there to there. So for this bit, we need to make sure that it goes right along the line, like this. Okay, so next step is to decide where we start to measure from. Because the angle starts here and goes, starts from here and then goes up like this, so like that there, we know we need to start at this zero line here. We're not going to start over here because then we'll be measuring this angle round here. So we'll start here. So we can see it goes from zero all the way up through 10, 20, 30, and this crosses the line. If we count along from 30, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be 34 degrees. Goes up to 30, and then we add on four. So we can label our angle 34 degrees.